as you let them fill from when you were in the sunshine so in this um, episode we go up and over the Alps because the tunnel at Mont Blanc is closed did we find out why? no no um, so yeah absolutely stunning scenery it was the best road closure that we um, have experienced because it yeah. was well worth that little trip over weren't it and it's a little St Bernard's Pass it was it was the little St Bernard Pass I pronounced it wrong a couple of times but that's me morning morning I'm just gonna video where we are are you yeah what's this place called Umpa Lumpa Land. Some vid of rocker. You've got to be a spiritualist to live here. <laughs> yeah. And you've got to be able to travel in the past and the future. You've got to be time travellers to come here. Yeah. Well, if you're interested in time travel, come here. Yeah. Yeah. You'll get taken and seriously. And if you're a sceptic, <laughs> you'll have a field day. Well, you you are, yeah. <laughs> so some people will be fascinated and, and they'll be believed. So it, they'll be just in the, in the Interestingly, there's one interesting fact. It's got Italians, and it's got Americans, it's got Dutch and Belgians. But interestingly, there's no Brits here. Probably not. No. You could have been the first. I could have been, but I'm yeah. too sceptical. Yes, you are. You so, believe in your own power, don't you? Yeah. Or your eco flow. Anyway, this little site, I'll put the name on the screen, is a little mountain village just north of Turin. And we've had a very nice quiet evening here, in amongst the houses at the edge of that village. Cats have been able to have a wander around, and it's quite good because we can see where they are most of the time. Especially the one, especially Mickey, stands out a bit better. Jack still has to be on his lead because he's uh, too inquisitive, aren't you, Jack? You just go for too long a walk and then you get yourself all upset when you hear a motorbike or a something, don't you? You're a good boy, though. Right. Good boy. Mickey is just up there. Right, so we've just found out Mont Blanc's shut, so we can't go up there. Well, the Mont Blanc's not shut, the tunnel's well, shut. the tunnel's shut. <laughs> Mont Blanc's still there, they haven't drilled it all out. So we're Blanc. doing a, an alternative, have we decided which one? Yeah. Not telling me that. Right? I'd better go and get Mickey. So the village was called um, Vidraka. And we're now in um, Historia. Sorry for the fast sweep. Eight hundred meters. Turn right. So we're now in Vistoria. Vistoria. And the decision has been made. We are going up and over. So we're going to head towards Mont Blanc and then take a right turn. Turn right. Take a mountain path. A left turn. turn. Take a right turn towards Mont Blanc. You're going to switch. The left to the to That's right, that's true. I think I'm going to have my brain locked into when I get home. Take the next right. It's always said the wrong word when it comes to name of kids, and grandkids, and sisters, but now the same what it flipping wants. Oh well. It makes for a laugh now and again. The first. I know. I know. And I'm a bit uh, worried about it. Why? Well, I don't know what the outcome will be. <laughs> Are you just, like, building a story here? Am I? Well, oh, we call she's... it a petrol station. Oh, right. yeah, I've turned around and come back to a petrol station. <laughs> well, it is a bit weird because she's got one of them polar bears on her. Yeah, I know. I, know. I was going to video her, but I think she's become a bit self conscious. Now. Yeah.
be icy as well. So. That's true. When you come to leave these places first thing in the morning, you've got to think about <coughs> how long it takes for the ice to melt off the road. Good morning. What? Good morning. Yeah, yeah. It's all right here, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Jack yeah. liked it. Jack liked it when we lifted him out of the long grass. Out of the long grass. And put and him onto on the, the road there. Onto the road. And then he going to run up the road and run up the trees. The autumn colours are out. We had to get the uh, thingy out for the first time. How many did you hear? About four or five. I heard about four overnight, so they weren't that loud. They weren't overnight, it was later on. Late evening. Remember, we went to bed about seven o'clock last night. <laughs> you did. So they weren't late. At all. Clocks weren't back last night. Phil decided to also go and have an early night. Yeah. So you should have proper caught up on your sleep then. Right, well, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Where are we going? Uh, France. And if I ask you what's the site like, you'll say, oh, I can't remember. It's Sussel. Sussel. Oh, right. We're going to. A place. Yeah, it's right. a camping car place. All oh, right. Great. See you there then. Next to a lake. Oh, lovely. So let's have a look at the map. Um, this is where we leave uh, Vadarac, Vidarac in the um, hills at, in Italy, near Turin. We come up this road, the main road, and it's completely empty of trucks because Mont Blanc tunnel here is closed. Uh, in fact, we don't see many cars at all. So we then have no option but to go up and over, which we did not complain about because that route is absolutely stunning. Uh, it was in the snow at the top and then we came down the other side, decided it was too cold to stay up there the night so we came down the other side into France uh, to Amy near Moutier. Hope you enjoyed that, we certainly did. Next uh, episode we go in search of more waterfalls, they just keep getting better and better. We get an obstruction in the road <laughs> and Jack uh, enjoys a paddle. See you then. Bye. Bye.